What's going on, everybody? Israel Galindo here at Advanced Networks. I hope you guys are doing uh, great out there. Anyways, uh, today I want to do a quick video for one of the things that Microsoft loves to do is Windows updates and breaking things. So one of the biggest updates that Microsoft did to Windows 10 caused a massive issue for your network, for your Ethernet adapter or network device. And in short, for all of us, we have no internet. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of go through the scenario of the unidentified network. Basically, when you are checking your computer, you're going to have a little world on the right-hand side of your Windows desktop. And I'm actually going to share my screen so you guys can see what I mean. So on the right side of the screen, you're going to notice that we either have internet or we're going to have something showing an unidentified or untrusted network. Depending on the version of your computer, you're gonna get one or the other. So what we wanna do is you're gonna see an identified network here, which is gonna be on the wired network. The wireless network doesn't really seem to be affected. It's just that one. So we're gonna go through some of the basics just to see um, what the issues could be and so on. So I'm gonna take you down the list to just kind of go down uh, the yard here and let you know what we're going to do. So first thing to do when you have those kind of issues is restart all your equipment. We're talking about the, the modem, the router, your computer. You literally shut everything down and bring it back up. That's the first step that you want to do. Second thing we want to do is we want to disable and enable the network adapter. So in this example, I'm going to go to this device. I'm going to disable the device, which is going to be the one that says untrusted or unidentified. And I'm going to give it a second and I'm going to enable it. It should come up with the network. It should say enabled as it is right there. And it should be working. And it should say the name of like for this example that we're using this network. It came back as unidentified. That means there's something corrupted, something wrong. It's using the wrong driver. So that is literally the first piece of the puzzle, if you will. If that does not fix the issue, the next thing we want to do is we want to reset your network. This is by hitting the start button, then going into the settings and then the network and reset. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. Now in this example, because I'm doing a recording, I don't want to bring the network down. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it. You're going to right click on your current network. If you don't have any internet, it's going to be a picture of the world. If you have an older machine, it's going to be an exclamation point. So I'm going to open network and internet settings and all the way at the bottom, we have network reset. Once you click network reset, it will reset everything and want you to reboot the computer. Again, because we are recording this, I do not want to do that and in disconnect us from the computer we're trying to show you the connection error on. So if that does not fix your issue, then we want to go on part three, which is flushing and resetting your DNS. Flushing and, D and resetting DNS is in DOS. If you don't feel comfortable, let me know, we can help you do it ourselves, but it, it's not a difficult thing to do. I'm gonna walk you through it just so you get an idea on how to do it. Basically, you're gonna hit the start command and you're gonna type CMD. Now, before you hit the little command prompt, you wanna right click it, run as administrator, and it's gonna let us know if we wanna do that. It's gonna take us to a little black window and this is where we're going to enter some commands. Now, I will post these commands in the in the description so you can add them but this is the commands we're going to do on the list i have a batch file that's going to do that for us so i'm not going to do it just yet but you are going to basically type these commands ipconfig forward slash release enter ipconfig forward slash flush dns enter ipconfig forward slash renew enter and then you're going to do net sh space winsock space enter and then net nbt stat dash r enter NetSH, INT, IP, reset, enter. So we're going to go through those process. And again, I have a batch file that's going to do it for me. So I want to have you guys see how that runs. And I'll put a link to the batch file as well. If that does not fix your issue and you end up having to do the next piece is we're going to reconfigure the network functions. The network functions are going to be the command connect. And basically, we're going to go through a list of commands as well that we wanna go through. And that one I can actually do because that won't bring my network totally down, but we wanna go through those as well. Once you go through those, it's gonna be in the same DOS window. You're gonna basically go in here, 
and you're going to identify those items and we're going to add those commands. Um, in this example, let me go ahead and grab my commands and paste them on a page so I can have them there for you and you can see how this is going to be done. So let me copy these over to the screen, open up a new notepad because I want to make sure that I've got them pasted there so you can see how they go. And these are the ones that we are going to do one by one by one. We're going to do A, B, C. I can also do a batch file running these three. So if you wanted to do a batch file, you leave them as that. And then you want to do, I'm just going to call this net to fix dot bat. And then I'm going to go back here, save this as net two because I've got two batch files. That really is it. Uh, I can run it by double clicking my batch file. But if you want to type on one by one, that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to do the first one, hit enter. Then you're going to do the second, type it out as it is. And then after disabled, hit enter. And then you're going to do the third one. I'm doing it in a batch file again because I'm remotely connecting to this computer so you guys can see the issues. So if that does not fix it, note that every single time you do this, you want to restart the computer and see if you have internet. So let's just say for whatever reason, that did not fix your issue. So the next thing to do is you're going to do the Windows key R and type ncpa.cpl and you're going to change the DNS of the cart. You can also go here. You're going to go open the network. You're going to go to Ethernet. You're going to identify that one. You're going to go change adapters. And then under properties. And again, you can type the command that I gave you guys on the screen. And in here, you're going to switch this to the use the following DNS. And then you can do 8.8.8.8, 4.4.4.4, .8 .8 .8 .8 .4 .4 which we can actually do here, 8.8.8.8. And then 4.4.4.4. You go through, you drop that guy, and you see if it does the item that we need to, which is going to be on here, it's going to be the network. It still says unidentified. So uh, I will run those two scripts so you guys can see what that looks like. But in the meantime, uh, those are the settings that you can enter as well. Now, the next thing to also check is if your computer is a laptop or a device that uses battery, this is where you want to disable power settings just to see if that's going to be. So we're going to go Windows R and we're going to type that command and we're going to look at the options and see if we have that turned on. Now, two ways to do it. You can do the Windows R um, and you can actually type, let me see if I can do it from this window because I'm on a double window here. There we go. And then when we have it on there, you're going to basically end up typing the dev mgmt.msc. So let's see. Dev mgmt.msc. This is configured to your device manager. And basically, we are going to the network adapters and we're looking at the real tech family. This is the one that seems to be giving everybody the issue. The other one is wireless. So we're okay on the wireless. But on this one right here, I'm going to go to Properties. And then I'm going to go to the Power Management tab. And once I go in the Power Management tab, we you notice how this is checked. Allow the computer to turn off the device to save power. I don't want that. I do not want my computer to turn off the power on that. I'm going to hit OK on that. And we're going to keep this window up because the next couple of steps are also going to be within the same uh, screen. So we're basically unselecting that to make sure that we don't have that happen. Now, the next thing is in the same item, we want to uninstall and reinstall that driver. So basically, on the same family I'm in right now, I'm going to right-click that little device. And you can either update driver to see if there's a new one, or you can uninstall, reboot the computer. It, would re it will rebuild the driver for you. So then you can do that, and then go ahead and select that and hit uninstall the driver for right now. I'm going to do update driver, see if it finds one for me. And it's basically telling me that it already found one. You can also go to the vendor's website, the manufacturer for Realtek, and download that one. It's another way to do it. And in order for you to find out what kind of card that is, you can go to properties, and you can go to the driver, and it'll tell you what the driver is, the Realtek driver. It'll tell me when it was installed last. But I also want to go to details and see what kind of PCI card I'm doing. Now, because this is a Dell computer, I can go to Dell's website and grab the latest driver 
for that card as well as deleting that as we mentioned before. Last step to also do is if that doesn't work for you, then the best thing to do is, like I stated, go ahead and right click, uninstall this device. And then once you install the device, you hit delete, reboot the computer, it will rebuild it for you. Hopefully it will fix that issue. For right now, we're gonna go back a couple of steps and we're gonna do what I mentioned, which is gonna be the two batch files. So I'm gonna take this batch file that I just created and the second one that I created, and I know I have them in a certain folder so I can now to access them in a certain order. And we're gonna basically do my Netflix and my Netflix too. This one will reboot my system, so I'm gonna do that second. And then this is my first one that I will do. So I'm gonna run this guy. It's gonna go through, do its magic. And then I'm gonna do this guy, which again, it's going to reboot my computer. I know that for a fact, because I've already run this one before. And it's going to go through and reset all my items. And there's the computer doing its reboot. And we'll let it do its magic. As it's rebooting the system, then you're going to know that it's actually going to disconnect that screen from us. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that we end up seeing the network device showing up with the name of your router, of your network. Whether your name is Batman or Superman Network or whatever it is, that's what we want to see. If it says untrusted, or if it says unidentified, which most of them do, you still have that issue. That means you cannot use the network. You're not gonna be able to do what you need to do. So best thing to do is definitely gonna be to go through all of those steps. I'll have them on my notes so you guys can follow them. If it still doesn't work for you, then let us know because all else fails, contact our support page, which I'm gonna drop on here for you. It's our website for slash support. Put in there, hey, this didn't work, hook me up. Let me know what's up. I can help you guys out on that one. Don't forget to always follow us on our social media pages, which we have all over the place, ANWSOL, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. And if you need to call us the old-fashioned way, there's our website, there's our phone number. Get a hold of us, let us know you need help. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Follow us and let us know if you need anything else. I'll talk to you soon.